Okay, so y'all know I've been having problems with my guitar and I brought it to Hubbard's Music here in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And he's given her new life. <laughs> Being able to play and sing brings me solace. And I'm just thrilled to still have the opportunity to be able to do that. So thank you, Dave, at Hubbard's Music in Las Cruces. You'd be amazing. <laughs> I'm getting closer to my home. I just caught a glimpse of Turtle Bag Mountain. In my heart, I swear to God, exploded in my chest. I'm pretty sure. I'm so excited. Six miles to my exit. Yeah, baby. Historic Hot Springs District. When you know, you know. I remember someone telling me that. You know, back when I used to, and I still sometimes do, but I used to do it a lot more, ask very abstract questions like, when do you know it's right? <laughs> that is such a subjective, abstract uh, response that goes to that question, right? I mean, it, it so depends on who everybody is, where they are, what's going on, da, 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 da. But I, you know, they were right. When you know, you know. And there isn't any doubt. Good morning, everyone. I am parked a kind of a, um, a different location for me. <clears throat> it was suggested, but I'm not going to share exactly where I am. But I do want to show you this view. I have made it back. Elephant Butte and look at that view. A little sad to see the lake so low. And look who's there. And there's this little bee painted on the ground outside the van doors. And Nugget has a little wall to play on. I did t spend some time cleaning up little shards of glass and stuff so she's safe. I just have to watch her because she'll jump over the side of this wall and slip out of her harness. So I think today we'll see, but... Um, I may have a friend coming, so I have extra room here for a friend to show up. Plenty of extra room. And, I mean, I'm so excited. If I wanted to study prickly pear, I've got an abundance. And the morning light is going to be hitting this hillside soon. I can't wait to see what it looks like. When these are lit up by the morning sun. Wow. And there we are. Oh, look at them all. Oh. And look at how everything changes once the light touches it. 
And there's the sleeping elephant. I really see it from here. Now I'm going to zoom in and show you what I'm talking about. So, the distance includes those mesas, kind of. There's like, look at how many levels of dif distance I have to work with. And all of that side of the lake at sunset oh, becomes like incredible Dago colors, like nothing you've ever seen, at least, all right, nothing I've ever seen other than here. I've never experienced this anywhere else. And I'll, I'll show you um, a little painting I did last year here as a study. Um, but it is for sale, always. <laughs> This is the little painting I did. It was an acrylic. And one of my my first ones in acrylic. And I really enjoyed making these and playing with my pigment, thinning it out, kind of using it almost in a watercolor effect. Which is of course used to how I am is how I am used to working with pigment, right? Um yeah, so, I, but I'm, I bought these beautiful heavy bodied acrylics that I did not use to make this. Um, but yeah, so I bought these beautiful heavy body acrylics and I, I'm going to, I would like to do a series of this view. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it works out. I'm. I really love it. That's one of my favorites. And look what I just found. I forgot I'd done this as well. This was this is on a canvas board. And it's acrylic with those same like it was just those Liquitex um basically trying out. They're really thin uh acrylics. Holy cow. All right, this mosquito has got to die. Please don't bite me. I don't have enough for you. I got devoured the other day and they drained me almost empty. At least that's the way it seemed. I had so many welts all over, all over any part of my body that was even slightly exposed. And then in other parts where like the fabric is thin and they were able to bite through the fabric because they do. I just tagged Jewel in a post and now I just broke this little ditty because I feel like I'm going to throw up. I got bubbles in my belly and I'm so nervous. I got bubbles in my belly and I'm so nervous. I got bubbles in my belly and I'm so nervous. I don't want to throw up on you. Because I got bubbles in my belly because I'm I played some music today, like you saw in that TikTok video, which I'm really excited about. And I did a little bit of painting, but the light kept changing. And I was using my palette. I'm just experimenting and, you know, just getting warmed up. But I really love this view. Look at that. Ah, oh, spectacular. And just getting to know it. I love working in the sketchbook. I left room so I could write below it. Um, yeah. So the book that I'm working on for the past is one book. This is my daily, I'm doing my best to keep up with um, current events uh, through sketching in my sketchbook. So that's what's going on with this. And then I make captions. So when I go to write the book, 
I will have the images to already scan and then I will have my little short stories to be able to work from um, to revive my memories when it comes time to really write it out. Somebody is debating coming outside. It's like, I just woke up. I don't know. Let me sort of process. Remember where we are. Right, right. Oh, yeah, I like this spot. There's a wall. And, you know. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Mommy's not been playing guitar for a while. So, I might be safe. Ugh, I can't stand when she plays guitar. Why? Why? Why must she do that to me? Does she not love me? My friend has arrived, leveling out his truck, and brought steaks and asparagus, so now my broccoli and mushrooms just became even better, right? Brought the butter, so now we have butter. It's going to be an awesome meal. I love when you can combine um, stuff, and it makes me more motivated to cook when it's happening like that, right? So, yay, it's fun. So there's camp all set up. We both have our awnings out. And look at this spectacular what view. So I'm going to set up a time lapse up here and see what happens. Oh. So I'm really excited to film this sunset. I can't believe I think I thought I was filming and I wasn't. So sunset's over there. I am going to film the mountain in the distance because it changes amazing colors while the sun sets. And uh, I'm really having fun with this time lapse thing. So let's see, let's find a good spot where All right, I'm going to put this down for a second. Doesn't that sunrise almost look apocalyptic? It's like crazy color out there. I know, hard to see through the window. But when I'm not, right, it's really just a giant blur of light. I am so bummed to have to wait for the rain. So I can go outside and just so I can photograph the light. But I don't, you know, I know the camera is resistant to water. But I just don't want to take chances. It's too much money. So the, in the night, the moon shade. Oh, sorry about the weird reflex reflection in the window. There we go. If I do that. Um, yeah, so a moon shade came down in the night, but see how it happens? Like, whenever it comes off the roof, this is how it comes off. It, it like, falls and lands and then doesn't go anywhere, which is really nice. Plus, I'm in a spot where it's sort of tucked, and there's my chair and my table. And the... Yeah. So even when the rain stops, I have to kind of wait for all that to dry out. But, you know, look how pretty. I mean, doesn't matter. Even with 
the rain. I still have this magical view out my window. Yummy. Oh, I know. Like, seriously. That's, it's, yeah. And there are houseboats down in this cove. Yeah. Kind of. I think that would be a fun iteration of this tiny living, right? A tiny houseboat. Although with my anxiety, I don't know. Is that the way to get over it? Or is that the way to like really ingrain it? I don't know. <laughs> So cool, though. I think my favorite, um, one of my favorite houseboats was not from Sleepless in Seattle, which those of my era, generation, whatever, right? Sleepless in Seattle is what we first think of when we think of houseboats. No. My movie houseboat fave, Drop Dead Fred. That's right. Carrie Fisher <laughs> drives, you know, she has this beautiful houseboat that is not meant to be moved. Phoebe Cates ends up driving this houseboat, right? It just absolutely, what a priceless movie. I mean, that movie still, for me, one of my faves. Um, but yeah, so <sighs> houseboats. Yeah. Maybe. Like, maybe when I go to Hawaii. Or maybe when I'm in Oregon or someplace, right? Who knows? But yeah, I'm... <sighs> however I achieve these 50 states is however I achieve these 50 states, right? I know there are always possibilities of different things happening. And I'm open to however it has to change in order for me to accomplish the task that I've set for myself. Right? But that you who have contributed, right? You've invested in me. I take that very seriously. Chili. I know. I was like, oh, if I had it, if I had just like a regular old space heater, heater like the electric one, if I was plugged into shore power and stuff like that, I would turn the heat on low to take the chill out of the air. I don't have that. I do have heated socks. It is not that cold. It's just that it got damp. And so it feels cold. But it's not. Smell the creosote in the air. Yummy. Yeah, there are those who do not like the smell of creosote. The creosote plant. I think it's cool. Good morning, everyone. This is an element of my van you don't see very often. It makes a nice little corner when this is free. It's so rare. <laughs> It is so rare. <laughs> I am I'm looking at my some of my palettes. I'm looking at this morning light. We have a lot of um clouds. 
and overcastness this morning. So much so that dawn sort of slipped by me. Um, so let's see what I got going on. Let me shut that out because I don't want to. I'm still limited power. I don't have my new solar panel yet, but it might be coming today. Oh, okay. I gotta be gentle on my knees. Oh, we got a tiny little bit of rain this morning. Oh. Stretch my back. Hi, Bean. Are you stuck on the tire? All the time. Every single time. Bean. Nagita. What is it? Are you stuck? Would you like to say something to the people? <laughs> no, Mom. Just, 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 just release me already. And this is what it looks like this morning. Wow. Even on an overcast day. <sighs> Magic. I'm having lots of ideas, so I'm going to photograph this. Um, I think I'm just going to do a quick sketch in the sketchbook because the light keeps changing here. So what I'm doing is just basically taking color notes, right, as to how the light changes. And each time I do these color notes, I'm getting to know the coastline more and more and more. My perspective is changing and getting better and you know, I'm starting to see it and know it and draw it out well. And so when I go to do final paintings, right, I have more knowledge of the coastline. <clears throat> Muscle memory. And it's one of the benefits of staying in one place long enough. And for me, also, just being able to stare at it. Memorize how, with my glasses off, the bumps, right, in the distance, is literally all I'm looking at. Like, there's a long purple bump with lots of little bumps on top. And then, you know, just simple observation and faint changes of color. You know, just don't overcomplicate it when I'm sketching as best I can. Because, like, I stopped the last sketch I was doing in the middle because I was starting to get too detail-oriented. And it's okay for me to have a few in there. <laughs> but I'm supposed to be just getting an impression for color. Ooh, that sky is not there yet. Go. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. If you liked today's video, you can give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to contribute, all the links are below. I truly appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.